Well, we got a massive snowstorm here and this snow is so wet and heavy it uh, even swamped out the C-band signals. Usually these are pretty much impervious to snow and rain, but the snow is so wet and heavy and it has so much water content. This is ideal snowball snow. And because the liquid water content is so high, it just killed the C-band signal. So time to shovel these dishes off. Yep, I said shovel not broom, shovel. Now, usually water and rain and snow only presents a problem for KU band satellite dishes. Like this one here is completely covered and there's no signal on that either right now. The problem with water is that it absorbs satellite signals and KU band satellite signals are very small. They're comparable in size. Their wavelengths are comparable to the size of a typical raindrop. So whenever it's raining, KU band satellite wavelengths get absorbed by liquid water before they can bounce off the dish and get into the LNB. Now with C band, it's a little different. The wavelengths are much larger than the size of a typical raindrop but when you have wet heavy snow like this which has a lot of liquid water content and it's just built up on the dish uh, more of the signal is being absorbed than it is being reflected off the dish back into the lnb and therefore over time with the snow building up and sticking to the dish the way it is the signal drops out and liquid water has the most profound effect on satellite signals because when water is in a liquid state, it is most dense and therefore it's the most difficult state of water for satellite wavelengths to pass through. And this is why ice cubes float in a glass of water because the liquid water is actually more dense than the ice cube is. Now, usually I just use a broom when it's light powdery snow, but when it's wet, heavy snow, I use a shovel. Make sure it's a plastic shovel though, not to damage the mesh or scratch the paint and this doesn't seem to bother the dish at all they're pretty tough they've been outside for 30 years i don't think a plastic shovel is going to hurt them at all the weight of this snow is just so heavy and it's leaning the dish down a bit this is another reason why you want to keep this wet heavy snow off your dish because if this freezes to the mesh it'll freeze to the mesh almost like uh, plaster to a uh, lath wall and if it sticks and a heavy wind comes along it can take your dish with it and the toughest part of this is either not being tall enough or sinking into three feet of snow in your backyard but as you can see the Signal comes right back up after you clear the snow. And I'll keep my shovel ready just in case old man winter throws another one at us.